Libra 28, man in the midst of brightening influences. Sometimes we, we go through hard times and we feel unable to cope, unsupported. Depression hints that it might be coming our way despondency. We, we go through this and we have to have a strategy for what to do when we go through this. <clears throat> and this is that. And it is to remember that even when it is dark around us, we can find light. There is always light to be found. We may well be focusing on the darkness, giving our attention and actually, by doing that, deepening our problems, we may well be in that position. But all we have to do is, is, is to look, look up almost, look for the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's there. On the one level, we're surrounded by a community of people that, to some extent, will always help us. Despite rumours to the contrary, humanity is fundamentally kind on an individual level. If you meet somebody and you're in need, most typically they'll help, really. Some won't, but they're really unusual, psycho psychologically unbalanced people. They're, they're, they're poorly, on a mental level, the, the ones who won't help. But the general healthy human being is kind. And we can depend upon that. We can go to a stranger and ask for help. I've travelled a lot and I've been in some desperate situations once or twice and I've needed help from a stranger and always found the support I need just to move me to the next level. It, it, it's not appropriate to expect to be taken up by an all-loving mother and, and, and dumped in some lovely position. When, when you're in trouble, you've got to work it out for yourself. You've attracted the trouble into your life in order for you to learn how to work it out. And mostly, we've got to engineer success out of our own sense of strategy and skill and trust and, and taking opportunities. We, we really do have to learn how to do that. That's a part of what it means to be alive not just a human being. That's life, working it out for yourself. But there are times when it's too much, where we, we can't do it. Whatever we try fails. We, we just need help. And it's there. It's there on the level of community. It's also there on another level. We're carried through our life experiences by guardian angels, if you like. You can give it whatever name you like, but and you can see it as, as an external force that cares for us, if you like, or you could see it as the highest aspect of your being, of which you were previously unaware. I don't think those two things are substantively different, but we do know that they're there. We can access higher forces of light to help us through the, the bad times. So what's the secret in order to access those forces? And I think the answer in a word is optimism. Free will is one of the most precious ideas in, in the cosmos. We are free to do what we feel like doing. <laughs> What would it be like if, if, if we were not, if we felt like doing something and we couldn't? And, and I know a lot of people choose to live that way, but some of us have understood that we don't need to, and, and, and whatever we feel to do, we get on with doing it. Those of us that have found freedom. And even if you haven't found that yet, surely it must be a special quality in your life to know that some people have, and you can. And if you don't think you can, at least you can hope that you might be able to one day. So that idea of free will is, is so precious. That's the difference between being enslaved and not. We don't want to be slaves. We want to be free. And 
the, one of the <laughs> aspects of free will is that we can choose to be pessimistic or optimistic. That's a fundamental choice which we are given the freedom to make. And a lot of people have chosen pessimism and cynicism and fear. And others, the spiritual people, have chosen faith and optimism. And, and they know that, that there is a solution to be found in every dark situation. And that solution is found through looking. Seek and you shall find. So if you want a solution, you need to look for it. Only what you seek is what you find. That's what free will does. It means that your attention is, is, is in a sense, the announcement of your free will. What you do with your attention confirms what you have done with your will. So if your attention is focused on darkening problems, well, that's what you've chosen. And, and you'll get that because there is free will. So if your attention is, is moved towards a supportive hand in need, a solution to your problems, an expression of joy and peace and harmony. If, if, if that's what you want, then you have to give your attention to that. And the more clearly and more stubbornly and determinedly you hold your attention on the optimistic outcome, the more these brightening influences are attracted into your life. What would be the other case if we were rewarded with joy and happiness and, and well-being without effort. Well, then everyone, whether they're hard-working and clear-minded and good people and optimistic people, everyone would get it. And therefore, it would cease to exist. We only know what exists by comparing it to what doesn't exist. So if everyone on the planet was in joy, then we would lose joy. It would disappear, it would just dissolve. We wouldn't know about joy. Joy can only ex be experienced in contrast to its opposite. So if everyone was joyful, we would lose joy. And if anyone was lucky enough to have joy, and it was unfairly given, it was just distributed, this 10% will be in joy, and that 90% won't, or whatever, irrelevant whether they've done anything to earn the joy. Well, that's not fair, is it? What we want is for our clarity of mind, our depth of heart, our efficiency of strategy, our realistic health care, our way of being. We want these things to add up to a path of joy. And therefore, we want all the other things like pessimism and selfishness and, and, and those things, to lead to something else. We, we must have that. So we don't want a wishy-washy, inappropriate strategy for life to work, even for ourselves. Not really. On some level of ego, yeah, uh, sure, but not, not on the highest level of soul. We want to fail if we're doing the wrong thing. We've come here to experience gravity, the, the slowed down energy that makes us hard and, and real and in pain. We, we've chosen that at the level of soul in order to correct our misunderstandings and our bad choices and so on, to correct them. And if we don't have that corrective force, then we, we, we've missed the point. We, we, we can't learn anything. We can't evolve. So we want to fail if we're doing the wrong thing. And the primary thing that we can do wrongly is to deepen our troubles by focusing on them in a negative way, instead of choosing optimism and expectation of brightening influences. Mm -hmm.